You know, the General Electric Company, which is one of the biggest corporations in the world, mm -hmm. I actually did consulting work for them. Mm -hmm. They used to use the corporate slogan, we bring good things to life. Yeah. But in point of fact, it is the disciples of Jesus Christ who bring mm -hmm. good, good things. things to life. Right. We bring the knowledge of his presence. That's what it says in 2 Corinthians 2.14. And then it goes on in 2.15 to say, for we are a fragrance of Christ to God among those who are being saved, and among those who are perishing. Mm -hmm. We, the temples of the Holy Spirit, are the air freshener in this stinky world. Yeah. My, my, my. That's why it should be so exciting to be a Christian, to walk with Jesus Christ, to walk in the Spirit of God, should be so exciting. Jesus said, I came that you might have life and have it abundantly. Mm -hmm. That's not about stuff. He said it's not about stuff. That's right. Abundant life is to have this this experience of, of being used by God, the Almighty God, mm. being used by Him to touch the world around you and lives around you. Mm. That's what I think. <laughs> Salt preserves things. I mean, for thousands of years, they, as a matter of fact, there are still places, absolutely, that, that use salt yeah. to preserve. Yeah. Yeah. How do you, you know, use salt meat yeah, to right. preserve it, right? Mm -hmm. The church is the preservative. Yes. Whatever mm. is good in this world remains because of the combined presence of the Lord and the church he inhabits. Mm -hmm. That is that compound, right? Yes. That's that compound. Yeah. But if that compound is removed, well, think about what Paul wrote to the church at Thessalonica. He said, and you know what restrains him, talking about the evil yes. one, talking about the anti Antichrist. Mm -hmm. You know what restrains him mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. so that in this time he will be revealed. Mm -hmm. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Oh, yes. yes. Only he who now restrains will do so until he is taken out of the way. Yes. Second Thessalonians 2, verses 6 and 7. What, what restrains him? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. <clears throat> but you know what? We're the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes. We're the container for the Holy Spirit here yes. on earth. When the Holy, and, and by the way, Jesus said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Mm -hmm. He can't take the Holy Spirit out and leave us behind. Mm -mm. He All can't do that. Right. He goes, we go. But when we go, when the church is yeah. gone, you know what's left? Hell on yeah. earth. That's Hell right. on earth. Now the thing is, you know, Jesus Christ talked about, in Matthew 24, he told his disciples that in the last days, mm -hmm. many will fall away. Yes. They're apostasy. And, and uh, two verses later, he says, and lawlessness will increase. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, do you not see the connection? Mm -hmm. As the, if, the, if the church diminishes and there is a falling That's away, right. there are less Christians, That's there's right. less preservative. Yes. So as that goes, lawlessness Comes. creeps in. Yep. And you don't have to look far to uh -huh. see lawlessness uh -huh. increasing all around us in this world today. Right. 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 It's a cleansing or purifying agent. Salt, Salt is. Yes, it is. Interestingly, in 2 Kings 2, verse 21, talking mm -hmm. about Elijah, it says... He went out to the spring of water and threw salt in it and said, Thus says the Lord, I have purified these waters. There shall not be from there death or unfruitfulness any longer. That's when the water was poisoned. Right. Right? And they're, they're, the, the prophets there are crying out, oh, you know, my master, we're dying here. So he throws salt into the water. Mm -hmm. Did the salt purify it? Well, God used the salt mm -hmm. to purify it because he's, he did this, this as a is, foreshadowing. Right. We purify the world. Yes. Take well, us away, and I promise you, you wouldn't want to see world. what the world looks like without without the saints of God and the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. in it now. Okay. Think about that. Mm -hmm. Think about the ministry that you have. Yes, yeah. you have. You didn't have to go to the seminary. No. You didn't have to go to Bible college. Right. But I promise you, when you said yes and accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. you became a powerful minister yes. of God and the things of God here in this world today. Mm -hmm. yes. Each and every one of us. Right. It says in 2 Corinthians that, that God works through, the Holy Spirit works through each one individually as he wills. Mm -hmm. 
we all, you all, have a ministry of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. However he chooses to use you. But what he is doing is he is working his blessings, his promises, through you in this in this world today, which is becoming increasingly dark. We'll talk about that when we get to the light, right? Mm -hmm.